what's up everyone, it's me Speedsuper Super Sonic bringing you guys another video and in this video today we are back again for my Sonic Movie 2 Spoiler Review. That's right, we are talking about all of the juicy details, we can talk about anything, no holds bar, whatever the hell the saying is, I don't know. We have no limits, we've seen the movie and if you haven't and you want to watch this, then you do you. Now before we get into discussing all of the spoilers and details of the film as we couldn't in our previous video from yesterday, I'm sure a lot of you guys are questioning the title of the video. That is right, the Sonic Movie 2 did grow on me. <laughs> Now, no, before you guys get all confident in yourselves, you didn't bully me into liking it more. I, I still have my own opinions, but if you don't follow me on my social media, which you should follow me on Twitter, Rick from SSS, go follow that right now. Not only did I tell you guys that I went to go see the movie again for a third time, but this was also my first showing in the US. But also, once I got out of the theater, you would know that I said my score went from a 6 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10. Yes, one point. I know I'm giving like the score in the beginning of the video rather than the end, but I just thought I'd put that out there. I know a lot of people were looking for an 8 or a 9 or a 10, which I'm sorry. The film just doesn't deserve in my opinion. I rarely give out 10s, period, for like any movie. 10 is like perfect, nothing wrong with it. I'm sorry, but I, I can't do that for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I won't even do that for The Social Network. I can't. If you guys don't know, that's my like favorite movie ever. But why, Ricardo? Why did this score jump up for you? Like, what changed this time around? There must have been something in that UK era that made me really grumpy. But I'm not sure what it was. I just found this film much more pleasant this time around a lot more charming. All of the issues that I mentioned before do still stick with the pacing and the characters and I do still think that the first one's better. I know I'm gonna get killed for that but I don't know the energy in my theater was so good. For a Wednesday at six o'clock the theater was absolutely packed. The audience was absolutely eating the movie up. They loved it. Not just the kids but the adults too. I do still stick by my tales kind of getting overshadowed. I still do stick by the pacing issues. I do still think that the movie could have been trimmed down by like 20 minutes. There are problems with it. I do still stick by those problems mentioned in that video and if you haven't heard those problems go check that out but overall I did enjoy my experience more and I do appreciate the movie more than I did the first time around when I was in the UK thanks America you're much a happier place no disrespect to the UK but anyways I just wanted to put that out there I like the movie much more now but I know what we're all here to do we're here to talk about all of the juicy spoilers we're here to talk about character details we're here to talk about that ending and we're here to talk about that very crazy post credit scene which I wasn't really able to talk about it all in my last video so we get to talk about all of that and I have a proper video coming on just the post credit scene later in the week but anyways let's dive in to all the spoilers but first a word from our sponsor I've been very blessed to make Sonic the Hedgehog my job and there's so many other people that want to do the same so many Sonic the Hedgehog fans are producing videos all over the internet but there is a craft behind it honing in on that craft and becoming better is something very important and learning info from others is also very amazing and Skillshare is the best place for that with Skillshare, you can join thousands of classes that will teach you exactly what you need to know about the creative skill you're trying to hone in on. I've been peeking in at a bunch of these, whether that's graphic design, writing, and visual effects. I've been on here a lot more than I'd like to admit. In order to continue getting better at my job, this class by Sonia Rasula called Start Your Creative Career, Build a Sharp, Smart Online Presence has helped me a lot lately. Classes like these work really well. It's worked out for me personally very great, and I'm so happy I signed up. The first 1,000 people to use the link on my description box or my code SPEEDSUPERSONIC will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So what are you waiting for? Click that link or use my code and join Skillshare today. The first topic I want to bring up is the lore and we're going to talk about all of the lore right now. This movie expands the Sonic movie universe like crazy. There are so many new pieces and elements added to it that I'm so happy are there from the games. Some of the biggest I'd say include that really do change things are of course the Master Emerald slash Chaos Emerald, Knuckles background slash the Echidna clan and uh, the Owl clan and all of that stuff going at war. And so those are the two biggest pieces of lore we have. Let's talk about that Master Emerald slash Chaos Emerald. So when I was talking about MacGuffins and how like it, it's really a simple plot of just trying to give the MacGuffin before the other person does, that MacGuffin is the Master Emerald, as I'm sure we knew. But during the marketing rollout, we were like, okay, this isn't giant, this isn't a big emerald, this could either be the Master Emerald, or this could be a Chaos Emerald, and they're just kind of big. No, it was confirmed that that is the Master Emerald, kind of. Inside of that Master Emerald are all of the Chaos Emeralds. Not only does Tails kind of explain the origin of the Master Emerald slash Chaos Emeralds, but at the end of the movie, in the final battle, when the Master Emerald breaks, all of the Emeralds fall out. We were all kind of questioning, okay, can Sonic go Super from the Master Emerald? We've 
seeing that there are seven emeralds from this little image that was in the trailer that kind of slipped by. I always thought Sonic would go super in the movie, and he did. Yeah, that's right, Super Sonic goes in the movie, and I'd be lying if I didn't say that Super Sonic was pretty freaking cool. Seeing a lot of the imagery on screen is really great. Like I said, even though the Sonic and Tails relationship didn't feel as satisfying and earned as I would have liked it to be, simply seeing them on screen, I'm able to buy it more than maybe just like a normal credit, because I have like obviously this attachment to these characters. So seeing stuff like that, like even if I have problems with it, I can still love and appreciate. So like seeing stuff like Super Sonic, I'm kind of in the same way where I would have liked if it was kind of built up through the entire movie and then it finally happens and you're like, whoa, it could have felt a little more earned, but still nonetheless, I was really happy Super Sonic was in the movie. He looks so cool. I know I'm kind of just using like random screenshots and videos of Super Sonic because I don't want copyright issues right now. We're going to wait until Blu-ray release or promo for that. We don't want this video taken down now, Paramount. But yeah, it's really just Super Sonic, but the Sonic movie kind of designs and he looks so cool. He's so, he's so cool. But speaking of those emeralds after he does go super, uh, they do scatter. They go all over the place. We're not sure exactly where they are. They didn't need to explain that, so I'm happy they did that. The Master Emerald is uh, is reforged at the end scene when Sonic Tails and Knuckles and everybody's playing baseball. It's in this cooler, so clearly they like still have it and it's still working. How that will play into Sonic Movie 3, if at all, we'll see. But nonetheless, the emeralds are all still intact and I'm excited to see how they work in future installments and how they will work in the Knuckles team. TV show. We'll have our own video on the Knuckles TV show coming in the coming days. But like I also mentioned, Knuckles' backstory. We get to know a lot about Knuckles uh, when Sonic and him are having that fight on the snow area. I forgot the exact place. I, I, I don't think it was Iceland. If you guys recall the snow location, it is on Earth. I know that. Just let me know. Knuckles explains like his tragic backstory and the day Sonic lost his mother in the form of Longclaw, Knuckles lost basically almost his entire family like his father the same day. We do get to see Baby Knuckles as well and Baby Knuckles is really cool. He has like his old tribal look. He doesn't have that obviously uh, when he's an adult or more grown. But nonetheless, it was so cool to see Baby Knuckles. I thought he looked really cool and I hope we can get some plushes uh, or some figures of it. It was just kind of cool to see the Echidna clan again and, and, and see Knuckles' backstory and Knuckles is far more fleshed out than Tails when it comes to uh, their origins. So the most we know about Tails was that uh, when that power surge came in from when Sonic was going crazy on the baseball field. That's really the earliest Tails character goes. And a slight mention of him not having friends because he's a weirdo. Once again, they like literally knock Tails out for a decent chunk of this movie. So the point is, I would have liked to see more Tails backstory, but a majority of the spoilers come from the final battle. So also, when Sonic is super, uh, the Death Egg robot uh, is destroyed. And the way Sonic destroys the Death Egg robot is so cool. It's just like he does it with such ease. I'm excited to see su super. Sonic in like a proper fight. I want to like see two powerful people go against each other and I, I think we'll get that soon. We'll talk about that in a couple minutes. The point is once when the Death Egg robot is destroyed, Eggman falls along with it. It is unclear if Eggman is dead or if Eggman is still alive. It's kind of implied he's still alive. In the post credit scene, it's like, ah, oh, there's no way he could have survived that fall. And then you see Agent Stone pull his mask down. And I think this is an important opportunity for us to talk a little bit about Eggman. We didn't go into it too much in our video from yesterday, so let's do that right now. If you guys don't know what's going on right now, Jim Carrey has been fairly serious about saying that he's done with acting. He plans on retiring. He is 60, which isn't like the old this age, he, he still looks great for being 60, but obviously we can't keep Jim Carrey hostage and playing Eggman forever, and if he doesn't want to do movies anymore and he just wants to live his life and do his own thing, that's completely in his right. But if he does in fact choose to retire after Sonic the Hedgehog 2, how is that going to work? Well, like I said, they left the door open on if Robotnik is dead or not. So if Jim Carrey returns, cool, he did survive, they kind of implied that low-key, but if he doesn't, I guess he really was dead. I think it all hinges on Carrie's retirement. But that kind of brings us to our next topic, and, and it's a pretty big topic that I know you guys want me to talk a lot about, and I'll try to talk about it for a decent amount of time, but I have a whole video plan to this uh, that I want to go over. We got to talk about what is also set up in this scene that we're talking about, and that is the fact that these GUN soldiers are talking about a file that was discovered from 50 years ago. That's right, baby, Project Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog was in the post credit scene and gosh, he looks so cool. My theater like actually got super excited when this happened. It was pretty awesome. If you guys don't know, 
I, spoilers, Shadow is one of my favorite Sonic the Hedgehog characters. I think, if not my favorite, I think he has such an amazing, unique story uh, that it's like a film character arc just in a video game. And now knowing that this is 100% the direction that they're going with Sonic 3 gets me over the moon excited. They showed him in the coolest way possible, his cage opening. You know it's been long because there's like ice on top of it and everything. If this movie did anything successful, it was getting me excited for the future projects in this universe. Universe. They sold me on the Knuckles show and they sold me on Sonic 3. Obviously not too much is given about Shadow, but we do get to see him. His design is really cool. Uh, the red eyeliner on top of his eyes is a little more pronounced than it usually is, but I actually really like that touch. I think a lot of fans might have their own take. I'm not sure what they'll think about it. I personally think it looks really cool. He looks amazing. I'm excited to see how they're going to explain this. I'm not sure how you can have a Shadow story without Eggman, so you never know what's going to happen, but I expect some creative liberties to be taken with Shadow. Uh, I'm not sure if this means Rouge. I'm not sure if this means Gerald Robotnik, we'll have to wait and see. But nonetheless, a fan favorite Sonic character that I think we all kind of deep down knew would be happening in Sonic Movie 3 uh, is officially happening. I know there was a lot of discussion about Sonic Movie 3 being a Sonic CD type movie with Metal Sonic and Amy. I never thought that would happen. I made that very clear. No disrespect to those characters because I'm a Sonic fan. I like Metal Sonic and I like Amy. But I'm also not sure how much story potential you have there if you can make the most exciting movie in the world. There's cool stuff that you can do with it. I'm not saying that there is, it's impossible, but I think it would be a little step down for your third movie. I think the third movie in your trilogy has to be like the big climactic ending of sorts. I think the filmmakers really want to do Shadow, so I think 3 is the perfect opportunity to do so. They're not going in chronological order. It makes sense, and I'm very excited for it, so I don't care. There's no reason for me to argue. He's in it. I knew it would happen, and I'm just so excited I was right. I just want to mention this real quick. This isn't really talking about a particular part of the movie. During the entire buildup of this movie, I made like a couple prediction videos like talking about this movie. And let me just say, I was dead on. I was dead on about Super Sonic. I was dead on about Shadow. I was even dead on about certain plot elements of this movie. I have called myself this for a long time, but I want whenever you guys bring me up in conversation to make sure it is known I am the prediction king. I get everything right. I may not have right opinions, but in terms of predicting things, I am right. And I just want to say, I predicted this movie like crazy. I did a good job and I'm going to pat myself on the back. Yeah, shout out. I'm so excited. I'm over the moon. We got shout on this movie. We got Supersonic in this movie. We got some really cool lore stuff with emeralds and uh, Knuckles' backstory and the Echidna tribe. There are so many Sonic elements in this thing. There's so much cool stuff in this thing. I thoroughly enjoyed my time with this movie this time around. I am shocked at how much I have shifted, even if it is just one point up. Like I said, there are issues with it that I still care about and that I do think are very important, but I do enjoy the movie more and I hope that 7 out of 10 makes you guys a little more satisfied. Trust me, I'm happy I can give it a better review. I, trust me, I want to like every Sonic thing. That is my spoiler review kind of slash discussion of Sonic Movie 2. Just wanted to go over those spoilery things we couldn't talk about originally. All very cool elements of the movie that uh, really do improve it for me. Anyways guys, let me know what you think of Sonic Movie 2. Did you see it on Early Access Day or have you seen it today or at all. And so, what is your rating? Let me know. Feel free to follow me on social media, links to my Twitter and Instagram. I'm just below. You can follow those buttons, look at my life, history content, and all things Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. This is the number one destination on YouTube for all things Sonic, whether it's video games, TV shows, movies, comic books, merchandise, and more. We talk about it all. We're going to be talking about every piece of news. I have more stuff in relation to not only Sonic Movie 2 coming later this week, but also Sonic Movie 3 coming next week. There's never been a better time to be a Sonic fan, and I want you guys to be on this journey with me. I love you all so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.